2J, the Aboriginals called it the Place of Plenty. Settlers discovered the 2J area in the 1830s, and by the 1850s there were three inns, two schools, as well as a jail. Today it's only 85 kilometers from Perth and a popular tourist destination. In the 1850s though, it was quite isolated and travel to Perth was difficult. Nevertheless, numerous letters appeared in the West Australian. An early 1876 map showing the main exploration and travel routes extending out from Perth with a principal route to 2J and another to York. The gold rust favour of the gold fields near Coogardie and Kalgoorlie passed 2J by. 2J, located 86 kilometres northeast of Perth, has a population of about 800 people, probably a thousand people on the weekend with all the tourists. It's situated between two large hills and the town is stretched along the river bank of the Avon River. In 2J, you're never out of sight of the country. Be warned though, although the town is small, it's well spread out and it takes some time to walk around. The town of 2J grew and still grows from the agricultural activities of the yearly settlers, such as sheep, cattle, wheat, barley, vines, and beekeeping. It's also the site of many elderly residents from Perth who retire in 2J to enjoy the pleasant rural setting and beautiful country scenery. Being the oldest inland settlement in the state, 2J is a heritage site, well worth wandering around. There's a fine collection of heritage buildings dating back to the late 1800s and the National Trust has declared the whole town as a heritage site. Most of the older buildings have been finely painted and preserved and are uh, open for tourists to view and shop in. There's the old gold dating back to the 1850s, St. Stephen's Church built in 1862 and the O'Connor Mill dating to 1870. My visit in early December 2008 involved a small trip outside of town to the 2J Caravan Park where we spent a night overlooking the Avon River. 2J is well signposted with memorials, this one to the early pioneers. A Google News search indicates as many articles about 2J in uh, Perth's papers during the 1800s as during most of the 20th century. It's only in the 21st that the volume increased. The shops at 2J are a lot of fun. They are historic, dating back into the 1800s. The churches are also historic, with this newspaper article about the 2J Catholic Parish built in the mid-1850s and St. Stephen's built in 1862. Don't forget a visit to the post office done in Public Works classic design. The public library in 2J was done in a unique type of architecture for that era. My friend Jamie Scott and myself pop into the Victoria Hotel for a pint of beer. The upper right window features public services in 2J, including the Memorial Hall and the old uh, courtroom, as well as the pit. There's lots of historic housing in 2J. The oldest house in 2J is the Butterley House, constructed in 1870. 
The Commonwealth Bank and the local photographer also inhabit interesting buildings. Connors Mill was built in 1870 and has gone through several reincarnations. It even served as a power generation plant for 2J for a period of time. In the 1850s, much of the public works in 2J was done by convict labor. Here's the old convict depot where settlers could hire their convicts. The 2J jail or goal was constructed during the 1860s. The center of life in 2J has always been the Avon River, which is very dry during the summer, but floods and overflows its banks during the winter. The Avon Descent is an exciting winter event held annually. Never look in at the model railway. The uh, decision to build a railway to Northern was supported by 2J, although they were bypassed. With the adoption of standard gates during the 1960s, a new railway track was built through 2J, which is visited by the prospector, Avon Lane, and many freight trains on a daily basis. In the 1850s, the road to Perth was little more than a track. It was difficult to ship farmers' produce by bullet teams. The river was also poor for transport. Victoria Plains was the name given to the good fertile farming territory north of 2J. A look around the fields in the 2J area illustrates the fertile farming land today. Regular reports in the West Australian were positive by the 2J Northern Victoria Plains Agricultural Society. Horses, cattle, sheep and pigs were all raised. There was, however, frequent complaints about the condition of the roads and an inability to transport produce. Wheat farming today remains challenging with the occasional abandoned farm. Then, as now, extreme weather conditions during the summer made life quite miserable. There's many special events in 2J. I recall folk festivals and more recently jazz festivals. There's horse racing and the annual Moondyne Festival celebrating the life and history of Moondyne Joe, a former bush ranger. I appreciate your company, dear visitor, on joining me on this historic visit to the heritage town of 2J, Western Australia. I do hope you have a pleasant day.